Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. Okay, Jolt's report yesterday, eh, so-so. You know, it's like uh, not a surprise there. Today we have the stat petroleum status report at 1030 and then a treasury budget at 2 o'clock, which um, You've probably noticed, because I would imagine anybody who watches this uh, is kind of aware of what's going on with the economy in the U.S., uh, but you probably noticed that I think it was last week we went over $18 trillion in debt. I believe it was last week. Treasury budget here is going to tell you uh, what the deficit was. You can see the deficit here for um, the first uh, fiscal, the first month in the fiscal year of 2015, which is this pink, or I don't know, salmon colored line, I guess we don't want to call it pink, we'll call it salmon, was over a hundred and, it was around 120, 120, yeah, about 120 billion, and at on a pace, if that's going to be the average for each month, then you're talking about, you know, 1.2 trillion uh, total deficit for the year, which means the debt will increase by that much. But uh, we'll see what happens. We'll just keep an eye on it and we'll watch how that works out. Uh, but that's it for today. Then we can jump over here and take a look across the ponds over in Asia. Uh, mostly bullish. A couple of bear exchanges there. And in Europe, mostly bullish. Which is not what I'm looking for, which we'll find out in a minute. And here, I skimmed this article yesterday. Uh, let's see here. Which one was it? Yeah, down here. Uh, this is why Americans are now overweight and broke. Yeah, they like to eat out a lot. And why well, I say they, because if I eat out once a week, it's a lot. Um, so um, a lot of people like to eat out a lot and eat out large. The article says that usually it's a couple hundred calories more when you eat out compared to eating at home. Uh, and I know that, you know, when I do go out, portions are much larger than I would ever eat at home. And I just uh, can't stop eating, I guess, probably because it's full of fat and who knows what else. Anyway, uh, enough about that. Let's jump over here and see what's going on. Uh, let's see. We could go to the big four here, but I don't know that I really like doing that anymore. Um, we're looking at a possible open down this morning. Gold made a huge move yesterday when the market kind of crashed in the morning. It was sort of like a flash crash in the morning, wasn't it? And uh, I tried to grab some of that. You'll see over here. And oil is at 62.79. That's really low. That's probably a new low if we were to look at that on a chart. Uh, this is a one-year chart. Let's change this to maybe something. Uh, let's go to 10 years month. How's that? Yeah, whatever. Okay, so... The low was 33.20 back here in January of 09. And this was um, the 08 crash. So what are we seeing here? Hmm. Well, you know, if oil is moving down, that means that's a good thing in some cases and not so good in some other cases. Uh, looking at the dollar, dollar's looking pretty strong here. Hmm. 
about as strong as it's been. How how did that look on the crash in 08? Here it is right here. And then it started to recover before the market recovered, which was March of 09. So I don't know if we can tell anything from that. And the Euro US dollar is at a dollar twenty-three, not quite at its lowest. And in the crash of 08. Uh, it was definitely moving down. So, I don't know if we can tell anything about this. Um, I'm definitely sitting here with a lot of negative delta and feeling a little pain right now. So we'll see how things work out today. I did some chases yesterday morning, totally against the rules. Thought I would throw some money out there and see what happens so uh, we'll be taking a look at those as we go through the A plus list which is what we're going to start uh, right now okay so Apple have a target set here waiting for it to come back up and grab it Amazon uh, target up here looking for some play there uh, Boeing well it definitely gapped down yesterday morning and spent the first hour or so plummeting and then tried to recover didn't quite get back up to the high but we have a target set up here and now we have a failed so we failed to um, launch I guess you might say taking that out now we have to wait for it to dip back down here again and then come back up we may end up throwing that out there next week Alibaba had a very nice day if we would have gotten in here on this with an expiration of this week it would still be working out but I'd be nervous I'm nervous about a lot of stuff right now Baidu uh, we are just barely not in the money on this one had a huge unbelievable day but you know what we'll add to it if it comes up here and gives us a hook we still have three days on this one. Chipotle. Still choppy. Yep, still choppy. Choppy Chipotle. Costco actually did the iron condor on it. So let's take a look here at a chart. We'll do intraday for just like three days. And we'll do a five minute. <laughs> We are at this morning 144.52 and the my shorts at 145 on the call side. Now I collected, you know, collected 38 cents on this total and risk 62. So that's a two to one risk reward on this iron condor. Uh, so we'll see how it works out today. This white line should jump up once we start getting prices in here and we get the new IV levels. Uh, this should jump up. The puts will become basically worthless. So this was a 42 to 59 is 17 cents. So that one's going to work out and 41 to 62 is 21 cents. Uh, we'll see how that one works out. Okay, so let's take a look at the Dow. So I was going to do a simulator on that. I thought, well, you know, it's pretty cheap. It's not. There's not a lot of risk here compared to some other stuff that I've done. So I thought I would do a real one and see how it works out. This is what the Dow looked like yesterday. It's going to be interesting to see if it's going to uh, follow through on this move or not. Of course, the Dow, um, you know, the Dow's not really going with the rest of the market. 
in some in a certain sense. And the NASDAQ is definitely a lot more volatile. And I may not trade this puppy anymore as a cash index just because it's so volatile. Uh, Russell is too, so I might just stick to SPX. We'll see. Next year, uh, we'll make that decision after the first of the year. All right, gold. Nice move yesterday. That's one of the reasons why I jumped in. I saw gold is screaming. Um, the market's crashing. So let's see what happens. Uh, Google coming up to our target. LinkedIn. Um, let's see, what are we looking at here? Um, could have gotten in here with a 50 delta. I don't know if I had that marked or not. You know, we got burnt last week on this anyway. I wasn't sure if it was really in a downtrend, and now I'm even more so not sure because this is a big move. Everything made a really big move yesterday. Here's NDX. This is uh, where my short is at. Here's the iron condor that's going to expire in December. Um, so this was a huge move after the way that it opened yesterday and it just kept going down when I jumped in on it and then of course as soon as I did flips around and there she goes uh, very contrary in play here um, and remember yesterday morning I mentioned that I'm am now bearish so I don't know we'll see how it works out today let's see what happens today uh, Netflix <laughs> we got some confusion here on the MACD never got in on this one let's move the target over Oop. get over here and we'll work from there Start a new price line. Uh, never really came up there. Now we have a violation. Uh, I guess I can move it over, but I'm not feeling real comfortable here with price line. The Russell. Now that is a big candle. Encompasses the whole range. Uh, for the last one, two, three weeks. Wow. Okay. That's all I can say about that is wow. It's a little bit too choppy for my taste right now. SPX. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, ended up just about where it closed the day before. That's interesting. Uh, don't know what else to say about it. Are we in a new downtrend? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, a lot of times you, this could be construed as a bottom candle. It's indicating a bottom. Big battle. Uh, opened here. Lost in the morning and spent the rest of the day and actually ended up a winner. So that could be a bottoming candle. I hope not, but it could be. I have to read them like they are, right? Tesla jumped in on this puppy right about here yesterday morning. I was so sure that we were having a black swan yesterday morning. <laughs> just It was amazing. The numbers just kept, the red numbers just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I'm like, oh man, we're going down. So I jumped in on Tesla. Uh, catch a falling knife here and we'll see how that one works out too I could give up a significant portion of my yearly profits this week okay and last but not least is Visa um, I don't know what to say about this one everything really gapped down yesterday morning didn't it but anyway, we're waiting for it to come down here and catch us an entry. 
And that's it for today. Um, say your prayers for the option guru today and hope that we have a nice bearish kind of a day. We may or may not. I don't know. It's, I think it's trying to decide what it wants to do here. It probably won't do much today, which is going to really make me, okay, now what do I do? Because if it doesn't do anything, I'm just going to lose more over here. But that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading. <sighs>